Dave, we got a new setup today. We got a new setup today. Welcome to NFT Art Talk, you guys. We are now live on YouTube and Twitter, at least to start. Maybe we'll throw in some Facebook and LinkedIn. Who knows? Uh, we're here live daily, Monday through Friday, hanging out with you guys, talking about art, music, culture, fashion, and focused on experiencing the NFT art scene in a new way fantastic way uh thanks for hanging out with us today we did want to say hello to everyone um we're gonna be here hanging out with you guys probably about 20 minutes feature some artists we like some artists that inspire us and then also some hot topics that have caught our mind um cardic man what's good dude we're in this new we got the new look on the on the live right now uh how you doing today though i'm doing good man actually when i woke up this morning um i was able to jump into a dennis rodman open c nft uh town hall kind of thing where the, he was debuting this new project he was working on so i thought it was pretty tight probably talk about it a little bit more but it's a good way to wake up in the morning just to see one of my favorite athletes kind of get in the nft space so it's kind of it's kind of cool just to see that honestly I agree. You know, I thought I, I jumped in the minute you sent it to me because I was like, dude, I got to I mean, D rods in the game. Like, right, let's yeah. go, dude, let's go. And uh, and I found it really inspiring. I mean, he's still he's such a humble guy. He was like saying stuff like people forget about the old dude. It's like, dude, nobody forgot about <laughs> Dennis Rodman, bro. Like this fool. We were even remembering like when we were kids, like um, like just going to see him and and he was in san antonio when i know you said that i don't know if mm. you wanted to share that story real quick and then we can like show his art um yeah you know uh basically i was a teenager when he was there and i think he played there two or three years and uh he was just like real crazy in san antonio because everybody was all like what is he doing he was just real wild back then because he started actually dyeing his hair and it was cool like i, I really liked him because you know it's kind of like he brought a rock star vibe to san antonio i think he dated madonna during that time and uh but one thing i really like they talked in the town hall is that back then um for him just to be himself he was trying to show people to be comfortable with themselves and he was like a leader in that kind of way of thinking at that point as being like a superstar or like a basketball player in the public eye so it's just cool to see that now he's uh going into nfts and he was really talking about the art and how he loves the art so much and uh he does seem like an artist, honestly, when you really look at him, right? He plays basketball, but he's always been, like, into fashion. And then also, I know he toured around with Pearl Jam a lot as well, just, like, part of their crew. So to see him kind of get in this art kind of form and just do a project, it's just real tight to see that in his latter years. And he was just saying he was tripping out, like you said, like, younger people know who he is and all that. And, yeah, man, I just think it's a good force to be in the uh, NFT place and kind of just help out people. He was really talking about how he wanted to help out homeless people because he was homeless at one time in his life. So, And he's from Texas, I think. So it's real cool. It's real cool to see that. Yeah, and, like, and you're right. Like, he's such a – I mean, he is an artist. Like, I mean, and he's done a lot of, of art-related stuff too, right? Like, he, uh, he's been on um, – I mean, he's done a lot of stuff in fashion. I know he's even come out with his own music, I think, at one point. Um, and he is. He's really just an inspiring guy, you know, who I know has inspired us and stood up for what he believes in. And that's kind of been and that's and that's a great way to segue into his project here. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and share some screens. Um that's right, guys. We got all sorts of new technology up in here. No more watching me flip flop between Zoom screens. Um, so, anyways, uh, what we got? So, Card. Yeah, I mean, this is this is his NFT project. I'll dive into this a little bit. Um, I was there this morning too. Um, they're minting on OpenSea right now, which is pretty cool. You kind of get a sense of like what the NFTs are going to look like on the website. It's all about his different hairstyles. I don't know that they're all his like hairstyles that he had over his career. But if right. you followed his career, I mean, he really started making a splash, like being him. I mean, it was kind of his way of expressing himself. He talks about that in some of the, the documentaries and stories about it. But um, this project is really cool because it's all about giving back. Like he kept on saying like, you know, I'm not here to make money off of this and he's going to give 
um, a very like a good bit of it. I know his his he said his cause was was homelessness. Um, mm. We hey, we're gonna preach it every time here, guys. Do your own research, right? You know, um, but in the meantime, you know the way they're minting it is it looks like you can instead of having to like if you wanted to mint ten instead of having to like mint. 10 of them and pay gas for each one you can do the mint 10 and then i guess right. they, yeah. they somehow drop you uh what you want um also we want to be remind you guys this is going to be a really popular um collection so make sure you're going to the right links you know um right. make sure that you're finding official links from dennis rodman's like official twitter or directly from even an open sea you want to make sure because some of these some of these places look very deceptive uh but basically he's got i think it said four or five thousand of these and then one out of the five thousand is actually going to go for an in the real life dennis rodman barbershop experience where he's gonna like yeah. edge you up or his barber is i i don't know it's it's a haircut with dennis rodman i know that um but i think that i, Card I know cardic and i both think that they look really cool and we love dennis rodman so made a lot of sense for us to talk about him on the show today Definitely. And like, I thought one of the tightest comments, someone asked him like, what was your favorite hair color you dyed? And back in the day, he did like an AIDS awareness, a ribbon in his head. And he just said like that brought together a lot of people that he didn't think like a LGBTQT QT uh, community and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, he was just like a forward thinker of the time. And it's cool to see how the art of his hair has transcended to NFTs now. Right. And he's hoping to like, utilize that message to hopefully help out some homeless people from what it sounded like in that town hall yeah he said that was his that was his uh that was his cause so um you know well hey guys before we move to the next artist we'll take a quick second here and remind everyone don't forget to like and subscribe we really appreciate your support uh, let us know your thoughts in the chat about what you're seeing here we got this new program we can feature your comments on the screen um also uh we really appreciate your support you can click that little notification bell once you hit that subscribe button then you know when we're live so um just a quick reminder of that and then also another reminder everything that you see on the screen today you will see in the description below um if you're on visiting us on youtube uh if you're with us on twitter you know we're gonna we retweet a lot of these guys and, and gals um, so you, you can see those there, or you can hop over to the YouTube link, uh, to see those descriptions. All right, let's keep it rolling with some more artists here. Um, we got La Lavelli, Lavelli, am I saying that right? I think I'm Lavelli, saying that right. yes, correct, correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you, uh, so L this guy is pretty tight. He's like a street photographer and he has like, cra sounds like he has very crazy stories actually, where he's, he's been taking photography since he was very young and just kind of done it naturally and just getting a intimate look of all these people. But uh, what's really cool, what I thought he was doing actually, is that he holds these spaces and he he, he, can't, he doesn't really push his stuff too much. He's really trying to help people out in the community. So I thought that was real cool of him to do that. But I remember it was in one of his spaces, he said he's like ghost written music. And I think he's done a lot of kind of art, art and that kind of style. So it's just cool to see he's taking a forefront in this uh, NFT movement and really helping out the community a lot and holding spaces and just having real dope uh, photography art, honestly, man. Just capturing, I think this thing is like Street Capture of America, right? It's uh, three decades candidly documenting rural America. Yeah, it looks like maybe he has an ape, um, so he might be a little bit of a collector also. And then, uh, I mean, his photos, I've been in some of his spaces. They're always dropping alpha you know right. you know knowledge on like to help artists and to do different things like that and there there it's just it's really i mean his photos are amazing though um, right yeah just you know, great art yeah i mean this one really speaks to me it's just because of the colostomy bag we have a good friend that had to have their colon removed and has been not you know always you know just been sharing that journey but also just like the the texture of his photos and the juxtaposition of his perspective is just awesome. I mean, you know, it's more than just a picture. It's like perspective into something. Um, right. And then you can tell that when he's like leading these hosts and or leading these spaces and like talking about like just the way he kind of projects his life and what he's here to do. 
Um, but yeah, we, we highly recommend it, honestly. Uh, a, a space, following, engaging, you kind of saw we did that. We always like to show that here. Um, but yeah, so this is Lavelle. You can make sure you check it out. Real cool let's artist. Keep, let's keep going. Yeah, cool. So this is another one, uh, Dill. So he goes by like Crypto Rich. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's he's been in the scene for a while. I think he said he started getting into crypto 2016. And uh, he recently started a music NFT radio station, actually, that I started jumping into about, uh, I wouldn't say like a week ago. And um, it's been steadily growing. I remember the first day of 25 to 50. And then I saw it get up to 100. I think it might have had like a couple hundred, actually, uh, one of these times this week. But it's real cool. He's, he's playing his music, but he's also putting on a lot of people. So I thought that was cool. And he's doing it 24-7. So I think he's creating a playlist and just kind of aggregating that and just sending it out to people uh, through his uh, radio station on spaces. So I just want to give him a shout out. I think it's cool uh, when people take the lead and try to like create a space and then kind of encourage people to share their artwork. So I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit and put him on the show, you know? Yeah, I mean, it looks like he's got a couple different things going on in the NFT space, which we'll take a yeah. look at. But this is a pretty good overview of how many additions and kind of what what he's got going on. It looks like his Solana sold out. Um, he's got some stuff on Polygon. Yeah, I mean, just getting himself everywhere. So, you know, I, I know that's like you're my goal as musicians as well, just to get ourselves right. everywhere. Um, so I, I do think that's really cool. Um, then this this looks like some of the ETH stuff. They're kind of like a trading card vibe, and then a couple of this like this reminds me of a little bit more of album artwork. And what's uh, interesting about his story? He said he was signed with a label, I believe, and one of his big songs called Jordan Belfort. And uh, from all those experiences of that, he realized like how much more power people can have in NFTs and crypto. So he's trying to leverage all the stuff he's kind of learned from that to really bring an independent NFT artist movement in the radio sector. So I just think it's cool trying to do that. You know, he, he has that one side of seeing that and seeing the pitfalls because he tells that record label took a lot of money from that single drop. So he's just trying to find this new way of like uh, incorporating NFTs to really free the artist. I just assumed there was music on the card. <laughs> uh, maybe there is and we can't hear it. We're new technology. We'll see in a minute. Um, yeah, it looks like there's some, this is the stuff on Rarible too. Um, it's the same like kind of album yacht artwork, but I just want to get to the song to be honest, if that's cool with y'all. Um, this is on Mint Songs, which I know we've been hearing about um, more and more. It's like a place you can essentially buy songs with crypto can we hear that cardi can you hear that i can hear it yeah i can hear it right. crypto rich i made some racks with it i could make a million on a blockchain i was getting dirty money now i'm popping advantage baby reach i'm sipping champagne prefer to rock it because i'm tired and i started pain refer to me now i'm wearing burberry burgundy stripes stacked in my saturday high wake to the back of my guy so that is scary and fight regrets on my side yeah i mean it's tight it's rap sorry we don't want to play too much of it because it's it's his song uh we like to stick to our music for the longer tracks right. just because of uh youtube's friendliness but maybe we can spin it in one of the spaces maybe you know on our thursday space he comes in and we can Definitely. we can jam it with him there or we can throw it in one of our dj sets that would be real tight get him a little love some shout outs um and he's also one of these spaces so you can hear his music in there as well. <clears throat> yeah definitely sorry we, we're, we're trying to be as good as we can about the the youtube um Scanning of the audio. Scanning stuff, audio. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So the next project we wanted to talk about was Manifestor Mags. Uh, this is our boy, the session CA and all the places. Um, he's actually launching this project, this project on, I believe on Saturday. Um, he's just, I love the art. It's got this anime style. Uh, his story is real tight. He kind of brought himself up he was homeless for a little while and then he um, really brought himself up. Now he's just blowing up everywhere. He's got a ton of followers on TikTok and YouTube. He does an awesome show every Friday night. We've kind of talked about him before, but this is his kind of the next level of his NFT stuff. You can kind of see the artwork on the website, which is in the description below if you're on YouTube. Um, it's on OpenSea. You can kind of see his, his Prius project and then like where he's growing, which is also pretty cool. Um, I know he talks a lot about the art that he likes, but basically the concept is, is that 
it's a manifest or magnet. So you buy kind of the one that you're trying to manifest in your life. Um, so like, is it like money or tranquility or, you know, big game, <laughs> abundance, <laughs> joy, uh, health, again, abundance, money. Um, I think they, he said they, and then I think these might be his, like some customs. Um, I don't know if those are going to be for sale, but, uh, anyways, um, it's kind of cool. It's a really cool concept, you know, manifest. He goes around, he believes in it, manifesting your destiny. I know we talk about that a lot on the show here. Um, and, you know, I think this is a really cool project, uh, not financial advice, do your own research, but, you know, Cardi I know Cardiac and I have hung out with him a bunch. He's got dope videos. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this project. I'm excited to come up on one of these. Yeah, real good guy. I was doing uh, uh, Friday YouTube reviews of uh, NFT stuff and just catching up on things. And I think he does a lot of uh, portfolio, kind of like Robin Hood or stock portfolio stuff too. But real positive person, actually. And everything he does, just give real positive vibes, always giving positive encouragement to everybody. And um, yeah, we always support that here. Yeah, I think that's part of why I really dig it, to be honest, man, is because he's just a positive guy who believes in manifestation and and then he's like yo let me sh let me spread some knowledge that can help you also just kind of live your life that way and that's what he's out there trying to do his best at and i appreciate him for it um all right uh well those are our artists for today um we're gonna wrap up with a little bit of alpha a little bit of news here um if you, if you did enjoy any of the artists that you saw, please, please, please go to the links in the description on YouTube. Check out the tweets we just retwe retweeted if you're on Twitter. And get involved in these guys' communities because it's really special. It's really cool. Uh, something about them has inspired Cardiac and I, so we hope that they will also inspire you. 100 percent yeah so this is an article that just came by uh today uh when i was reading in the morning but it says michael jordan's nfts are coming to xrp soon so xrp is under like a lawsuit case right now in america but i think they operate worldwide in a few locations and i just thought this was an interesting article because michael jordan's son released i think a shoe collection we reviewed a month ago on solana and i'm pretty sure that sold out so it's interesting to see him as an artist as well uh distributing on a new ledger xrp and if you go down further on this i believe they're gonna have other big artists on there i think they want to say they had steven uh, Spielberg, snoop dogg uh, paris, snoop, hilton, paris hilton yeah nike disney so yeah so it just shows you like um different blockchains different cryptocurrencies are trying to use this nft stuff and it's cool to see these bigger names uh using something in this case like xrp um but yeah i just thought it was an interesting kind of tidbit that just happened to come across my feed today yeah i mean and when you consider xrp as a cryptocurrency and its intention is like a transactional banking coin and then what does that mean for an nft that you you buy on this blockchain i mean it's just so interesting uh where that can go um yeah i mean and i i also appreciate the alpha as an artist where it's like again you really want to get your stuff out on as many of these as you can each chain almost has its own community, it feels like. And then on top of that, like the major influencers are going with the same mentality. So, um, yeah, I think that's another reason why we bring it up on today's show. Um, and then I thought and then I found this article. I just thought it was interesting that um, like music deals uh, for artists that are like focused on NFT music deals. Um, and uh, I just thought I hadn't really seen a lot of news about outside of like kind of the bigger news. Like we talked about like kind of major people signing to deal like deals with labels like Basie sign or Board Ape Yacht Club signing a deal with like, you know, Warner Music Group to like buy mm. one. And then what does that mean? I hadn't seen a lot of like artists that are like, yeah, I have popularity. Let me go sign this deal to get nft distribution um so i just thought it was interesting um and i'm keeping it on my keeping it on my radar um for a lot of reasons i think one because it is interesting 
and I want to know what happens in the scope of business and how artists are represented in, in this space. Um, the other side of it, I think, is um, also just being aware of what's out there. Usually when there's a deal for something, like I, I, would, I wish artists would educate themselves first in NFTs before you go sign deals with anybody. That's, I guess that's, that's my point. Uh, right, because as an artist, um, and we've talked about this on previous episodes, there's a way that you could actually upload your digital signature, right, in a way that anything's distributed by you will be authenticated by this digital signature, and therefore they can mint from like a website. A lot of the websites where you can mint and buy from is Web 2.0, eventually be all Web 3.0. But the, the true artists will eventually release all this stuff on Web 3.0, and they'll have royalty rights and how they want to sell it. Obviously, you're going to have partners here and there. But the biggest thing about this cryptocurrency and owning your own wallet is having custody of these digital assets and the framework of receiving those payments. So as an artist, you want to be the digital authenticator that actually writing the smart contracts on the blockchain eventually. Yes, exactly what Kardik said. Um, you know, you want to control this is this is our opportunity to control our our rights our distribution especially in this space so um well hey you guys it's been a great day i know we were we were trying to keep it nice and to the point for you on a monday um we appreciate everybody that tuned in today we appreciate everybody that watches this later please make sure that you shoot us some messages in the chat always you can always follow us on twitter our description and links our, our, sorry, our links are in the description below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel. Um, and also, my closing thoughts, have an amazing day. You know, prioritize yourself a little bit today. It's kind of, for, for us, I know it's kind of midday. For some people, it's probably the morning or the evening. So if it's the evening, have a great, you know, set yourself up for a great day tomorrow. Afternoon. Give yourself some time to enjoy yourself. Morning, crush it today. Uh, those are my, those are those are my. <laughs> fair I'll go ones. with that that same frequency. I think just enjoy today. We, you know, no one's guaranteed tomorrow, so we must enjoy what we have right now and just absorb and really enjoy the close people around you. That's the most important thing. Amen. Thank you guys so much for tuning into NFT Art Talk today and every day. You know, we're here Monday through Friday live doing all sorts of fun stuff. Come hang out with us anytime. We'll see you tomorrow.